Hi guys, welcome to the channel, Practical Reefer. My name's Mark as always. Now today with a 13 pound sheet of polycarbonate twin wall. Now this is four millimeters thick. Um, with that, one sharp knife and some normal super glue. Um, for less than 15 pounds, we're gonna make a, a tight fitting polycarbonate lid for the, the Reefer XL200. Now with this, um, this is near enough the finished product. So we've got a cut out there for the light mount and a cut out there for a cable and two strips underneath. Um, which I'll explain those later. But with this, we've got a four millimeter twin wall polycarbonate lid. And the benefits of that is that it's gonna stop your fish from jumping out like any other fish guard. Um, it will also reduce evaporation, so your ATO reservoir is gonna last longer. And it's also gonna reduce heat loss from the tank caused by evaporation. So it's gonna cost you less to heat your tank. So we'll get started with this and we'll show you the end product on the tank. So guys, first things first, um, I've marked this board at 600 millimetres, which is the outside glass dimension of the, the top of the reefer. Um, so this is actually going to sit on top of the tank, but I do need to do some other bits to make sure that no drips make it outside of the, the glass. But we'll get this cut first. So board apply underneath to protect the floor, board apply on top for me to kneel on and not damage the twin wall, and a new blade on my uh, X-Acto knife. It's a Stanley knife to me, but gets called many things, so we'll just get this cut. And there we go, that's our cut there. So guys, cut number two is gonna just take the back edge off because this overhangs the back of the tank at the moment still so we're just going to trim that excess off perfect so what we've got now guys is that we've cut the main sheet that's going to sit on top of the reefer now it's still got protective coatings on it so you can see that so it sits perfectly on the front edge and the same on the side now there's a little bit of a, a raised gap there which we'll sort out in a minute. Now what we're going to do is cut two strips to sit underneath the lid on the inside out of some uh, spare material and that's just going to locate it perfectly so it doesn't slide around and move. Um, and we'll also cut some gaps out the back just for wires and for the, the light mount and things like that. So we'll get those cut and then um, we'll see the, the finished product. So guys here's the, the top of the lid just now and with a bit of jiggery pokery and some uh, coffee coasters or mats that just happen to be the same thickness as the, the glass and the reefer. I've used them um, as a spacer for the, the inside piece and then just sat this one at the front just to keep the same distance and I've already done this one. So a little bit, a few blobs of super glue, pop that on there and once they're dry I should be able to flip this over and it'll locate the lid centrally onto the top of the reefer and just keep it sitting in place but we'll get a look at it once it's finished. So guys, this is the, the finished lid. Um, so it's the four millimeter twin wall polycarbonate. So it's nice and strong. As you can see here, I've got about 900 odd milliliters of water plus the jug. So it's probably a good kilogram sitting on top of it. Absolutely no issues with that. Um, really, really nice and strong. So I'll get rid of the jug just now so I don't knock it over. Um, as we say, four millimeter twin wall polycarbonate. So barely sits above the tank, just a four millimeter raised edge. So not big and chunky, um, even some of the commercial leads that are available are thicker than this, so um, really, really nice low profile on there. Um, what I did manage to buy when I was at the B&Q or the hardware shop, I actually bought one of the sheets with a formed edge, so it's got a, a rounded formed edge there, so that's sealed up. It does look a little bit crimped, but that's perfect for what I want, it's just a nice smooth edge on the front when you look at it from this way. So you, oh, get the focus, um, so you'll see that there, so it's barely noticeable. So this is the perfect edge that came manufactured and then I've cut the other side which just has an ever so slight, it's just a, a manual cut that I've done. Um, so what we've also got, excuse me getting on my tiny step ladder for tiny people. So we've cut a, a hole out there for the light mount. Um, so you can see there that the weir box is actually much much bigger than that hole so I have no worries of any fish managing to jump through that hole because the light mount will actually take up a lot of that as well and then I have a tiny little hole there for a cable and um, I might put something up there just to make that even smaller 
um, but very unlikely that anything's going to come through that little gap. So that's the whole lid there that's sitting on and as you can see from above is the two, uh, two strips that are glued underneath the lid and I'll show you why in just a second as I move my step ladder out of the way. So the lid actually with those two strips in it stops the lid from going anywhere so they locate it nicely. Now the main reason for these, if you took a single sheet of polycarbonate and fitted it over the tank um, onto the outer edges like I've done with this, condensation has the potential to then track across the underside of the lid onto the edge of the, the glass of the, the tank and then over the edges. So what these strips are there to do is obviously locate it onto the, the lid, so, or locate it onto the tank so it sits perfectly, but it also stops any condensation tracking on the underside of the lid and over the edge of the tank and then obviously you're looking at a tank with water running, running down the edges of it which you really really don't want so yeah really really happy with that um, they stop any condensation I haven't had any come over the front and um, that's been perfect and also at the back edge it's been cut just a little bit short so that no condensation is going to try and run over the edges of the tank there um, so yeah really really happy with that looks great very very slim and uh, I don't think I could do better for £15 really um, and the one thing just to notice is that the, the channels of the twin wall or the corrugations are going across the tank so obviously it's supported either side and then the strength is actually in the corrugation so that was the better way to set it out of the two obviously if I start making cuts at the back and the corrugations are going that way it might make it just a little bit weaker but really really happy with that and we'll come back in just a second so guys there we have it um, a really nice tight fitting slim profile lid that will keep your fish in, save you money on heating your tank and save you RODI water and make your ATO last longer which is absolutely the best thing I think you can get from lead. Now I'll be honest and say when I started this I was worried I was going to struggle to make it really nice low profile and slim and I think I've absolutely cracked it off. I'm really really happy with the result. I was worried that it just wasn't going to look great um, but you can barely see it on the tank so absolutely chuffed with that and I know it's going to do the job that I want it to do um, and it's actually going to be better than the lid that I've got on my other tank which uses these sort of aquarium uh, cover clips and things which get messy and I don't really like them so the Nano might get a little redesign later and follow something similar to that but those little strips underneath will stop the condensation from travelling over the tank and down the sides and also keep it located perfectly but it still looks very very slim because it's only 4mm above the tank so absolutely happy with that let me know in the comments, do you like the design? Would you do something similar? Is it something you consider using yourself? Um, I don't think I could do better for £15. Um, it's probably less than £15. I had the super glue anyway. Everybody's got a sharp knife or a you know, craft knife, Stanley knife. I'm sure the, the sheet from B&Q in the UK here was about £13. So absolutely chuffed for that. Really, really happy. But I hope you enjoyed the video, guys. I hope some of you find it useful and maybe use something similar yourself to, to save yourself some money and uh, make a lid that looks really, really nice. Um, give me a little like, give me a comment below, and don't forget to subscribe. Um, thank you all for watching, and I'll catch you next time.